In this lecture example, we are looking at contributed tax capital. A Limited was incorporated on, the, on August 23 and has a 31 December gained. At the time of its incorporation, A Limited issued 100,000 shares at 2 rands per share. So that contributed tax capital right there you need to see. Remember, contributed tax capital is the amount that you receive for the issuing of your shares. In the current year of assessment, the company made a distribution of 1 rands 50 per share to each of the shareholders. The directors have indicated, uh, indicated that 50 cents of the distribution would be contributed tax capital. The company also issued 50,000 shares at 5 rands per share during the year in September. Right. So this is again contributed tax capital. 50,000 times 5, 250,000. Okay, now... Very important here, and again the principle here, is if a company makes a distribution, that distribution can be contributed tax capital or dividend. One of those two things. The directors decide what is the contributed tax capital. So if they don't tell you anything, it's considered a full dividend. Now in this case they tell you that the distribution is 1 rands 50, and it's broken down as follows. 50 cents of that is contributed tax capital, so the remaining 1 rands must be a dividend. That you need to understand. So, what part of the distribution is a dividend and what part is contributed tax capital? Guys, this happened in May. In May, how many shares did they have an issue? 100,000 shares, because they were only issued the additional ones in September. Right, so... What is the dividend amount and what is the contributed tax capital amount? You multiply that by 100,000. So the dividend is 100,000 rands and the contributed tax capital is 50,000 rands. B. What is the balance of the contributed tax capital after the distribution took place? Okay, now my order, I just want you to see, I would just suggest just treat the order around here because this happened in September and this happened in May. Um, if you just want to see it like that, it obviously doesn't have to, uh, an effect because this is a balance that you're calculating. So you say the issue of the shares when it was originally issued, which is what we did here, plus the additional ones that we issued, that you see here, Less the amount that we paid out. Remember we said that the contributed tax capital is 50,000. That reduces your balance. Number two. This example illustrates the effect of a share buyback on the balance of contributed tax capital. Share buyback. DEF has three shareholders. The shareholders are the original shareholders that formed the country. <laughs> Sorry guys. Company. Not con con uh, country. I'll fix that. Each of the shareholders contributed 50,000 rands as share capital when the company was formed in exchange for 50,000 shares each. Okay, so contributed tax capital, three shareholders times 50,000 rands equals 150,000 rands. During the current year of assessment, DEF buys back 20% of the shares that were issued to each of the shareholders and pays them 3 rands per share bought back. The directors indicate that 2 rands of the 3 rands is contributed tax capital, and each shareholder thus receives 30,000 rands for the 10,000 shares that were bought back. Okay, so let's just go quickly. There were 50,000 shares issued. Just make sure everybody sees where this comes from. So 20% of that is being bought back. That is 10,000 shares. So that's why I talk to you about 10,000 shares were bought back. They pay... 3 rands per share, and that is broken down as 2 rands, so again, I want you to just quickly see here, the company makes a distribution, that's what it's doing here guys, it's still a distribution, even if it's a share buyback, you're giving money to your shareholders for some reason, that distribution can only be one of two things, a dividend and contributed tax capital. They tell you it is 3 rands, they tell you contributed tax capital is 2 rands, so that means that 1 rands of that 3 rands is a dividend that is being paid out. So, indicate what portion of the buyback is compensation as a dividend and what is the contributed tax capital. Right, so for e there's 10,000 shares for each shareholder, 1 rands is a dividend and 2 rands is contributed tax capital. So times 1 rands 
is a diff and times two rands is contributed tax capital. What is the balance of the contributed tax capital after the share buyback? Now, also before I continue here, guys, please remember that this section here does not apply to share buybacks from listed companies. This is a private company. That's why there's no issue. What is the balance of the contributed tax capital? Well, originally when they issued the shares, they paid 50,000 rands for 50,000 shares each. So, 50,000 rands for three shareholders is 150,000 rands. That's what we have here. Now, what are we paying back? We are paying, well, two rands a share times 10,000 shares times three shareholders. So, 60,000 rands. So, our balance, 90,000. Example 3. This example illustrates that each shareholder cannot receive more than their pro rata share of the contributed tax capital. Great. So APTY Limited has two shareholders who hold different percentages of the shares in the company. Mr. X has 40% and Mr. Y has 60%. APTY Limited has a contributed tax capital balance of 100,000 rands. Okay, so now what I want you to see is contributed tax capital of 100,000 rands. Mr. X... Mr. Y. Mr. X is entitled to 40% of that, and Mr. Y is entitled to 60% of that. Then, during the year, AP2Y Limited distributed 100,000 rands to Mr. X. Indicate what the tax implications will be if the full 100,000 rands distributed to Mr. X should be contributed tax capital. Okay, so... Understand now what happens. The company has a total contributed tax capital of 100,000 rands. They now say, we want to pay Mr. X an amount of 100,000 rands, and we want that full amount to be this contributed tax capital. Can they do it? No. Because Mr. X is only entitled to 40% of that. So this 100,000 rands, just make sure you see this is the 100,000 rands distribution. I'm not talking about the 100,000 rands original contributed tax capital here. This 100,000. That 100,000 rands, the maximum that the company can do, because remember, if a company, I'm just going to take it back, makes a distribution, it's either a dividend or CTC. Okay? So the maximum CTC that that company, sorry, that company can give Mr. X is his 40,000. That's the maximum. They can't make a, a difference there. So the remaining balance of that must be a dividend. So even though, guys, the directors want to do this, they can't do that. It's not possible for them to do it. Example four. This example illustrates the effect of a capitalization share on contributed tax capital. So GP to our limited is a company with 31 December year. End. At the beginning of the year, they had 100,000 shares in issue. And both its stated capital, for accounting purposes and its contributed tax capital, had a balance of 100,000. On the 1st of June, the company decided it would make a capitalization issue of one share for every two shares held, and the company consequently passed the following journal entry. Debit retained earnings and credit saved capital with 50,000 rands. What is the effect on the CTC? Okay, so this is quite cool to see. So this is my contributed tax capital, and this is my accounting Pro, uh, not my accounting profit, my accounting capital. And we're talking there about, obviously, your equity, your share capital. Okay, now, they say, when a company, it had 100,000 shares in issue, they were issued 100 of shares, so they had a balance of 100,000 rand. So when the company started, this is why we always show, they can be the same. So the contributed tax capital and the capital of the company was the same. Then they added, see, credit, 50,000 rands to capitalization issue. For contributed tax capital, guys, what is contributed tax capital? It is the amount that the shareholders paid for shares. How much do the shareholders pay here? Nothing. Because it comes out of retained earnings. It's not debit bank. It comes out of retained earnings. So, contributed tax capital, no effect. 
So I want you to see, here's a, a good example now to illustrate what I meant with they can be the same, but they can also be different. So the accounting capital will be 150,000 rands, but our contributor tax capital is still just 100,000 rands. And this is still, the directors are still limited to that 100,000 rands and what they can pay out as CTC. Very, very, very important to remember that, guys. Right, so just to show you, economy tax capital does not increase the CTC. And please remember also that that 100,000 Rand shares is also not considered a dividend. So this will be in terms of section 40C, the base cost of those shares will be 0 Rands. Right, so section 40C is a section that you'll cover a little bit later.